Hello everybody, um, so in this video I'm going to be interviewing Rod Arvin Electrics, so this is going to be very interesting, we're going to be asking questions about telephones, so I'll just wait for him to come on. Hello everyone, Hi, I hope Rod. all of you are, hello Joey, how are you doing? Good thank you, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. May you introduce yourself for everybody? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, for those who don't know who I am, I'm Rod. Uh, I'll I'll go by Rod. It's my nickname. And uh, I started doing uh, telephone videos and electronics uh, from, like, July 24th, 2022. And uh, basically, on July 24th, it's my channel's anniversary. I'm going to have a big live stream there. So, if you like, you can also come and join there and see how it goes. I'm also going to be inviting a... Uh, a large amount of content creators on there, including Joey. So make sure to watch it, guys. So, um, thank you for that introduction, Rod. And I am very excited to be finally doing an interview with you. So, um, so I think we'll do like a little chat first, and then shall we get to the questions after that? Sure. So. Um, I myself, for people who don't know, I've been studying telephones since probably about when I was little because I was obsessed with the BT Studio Plus. Um, and I've this is a channel I started in December 2022, so I'll do an anniversary thing then, like what Rod is doing, and then I'll also be, um, I will also be, um I will also, sorry, I will also be, um, sorry, uh, oh, I will also be, I forgot what I was going to say, I've got brain freeze, well, not like, my brain just, not with, uh, anyway, so, my, um, I'll, def I'll be doing something for that, maybe, I don't think, maybe like, I don't think it'll be a live stream, but I'll definitely get some con content creators up on the channel especially because the fire alarm not fire alarms the telephone community is so welcoming so rod am i allowed to tell them about the community discord group or is yeah, that sure, proper? sure uh even if somebody is a content creator and they would like to join there yeah. uh you can join but first you need to verify yourself yeah. to us yeah that yeah so i'll explain how that i'll explain how that works so we've got two com we've got two groups we've got one for enthusiasts who like telephones and other things and then we've got a group for content creators that like them subjects so um i'll read out the options that um there is so there's we can do there's a general chat um and the things what we can do there's about weather radios and landline telephones fire and safety um so yeah there is and a lot of like and then in the telephone thing we've got pedestrian crossings uh push buttons uh light bulbs fire alarms and telephones obviously <coughs> and then obviously we've got the general discussion too um so to get into the chat first if you want to get into the um if you want to get into the electronic device information group you've just got to um you've got to have you got a link in your this have you got a link for it Rod? because i don't because i'm like if i if i've got permission i will put a link on my channel but yeah sure I'll, sure uh you're always welcome to do that we will be thanks. honored to and also uh I, I believe I did a video. It, it's like, yeah, you uh, did. That's how I joined. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> anyway, um, that's um, so that it's quite easy to join. You just uh, answer some questions to Rod or one of the moderators. I'm not a moderator, so it won't be me, but it'll be Rod or someone else. Um, and then with the content creators group, you have to verify them questions again, but you also have to verify your channel. So, because there's one group for everyone, then one group for con mostly content creators. Um, 
So, yeah, I'm not a moderator for any of that because I'd probably mess it up. But um, I will put a link on my channel for you guys to join the group as well. It's a community thing and it is very welcoming. I've been in some other Discord communities, even from my own country, the UK, and they've not been very welcoming. I don't want to go into too much information about them. Um, but... Um, I went into this telephone community with people from all around the world, like some from America, Canada. Ros, am I allowed to say where you're from, like the country? I, I told everyone where I am. I'm from Canada. Yeah. So, well, not Canada. I mean, like Iran. Like, So we've got someone from Iran. We've got someone from Canada, America, United Kingdom. So if you're from any of those countries and you like telephones, if you're definitely from the UK, I'll definitely be able to... Out of everyone in that group, I'll be able to probably answer most of the questions if it's about BT phones and, and, and UK phones because I, I've i grown up with UK phones. Like, first we at ours, we had a BT Studio Plus. It was a BT Studio at the time, but then they renamed it the Studio Plus. Then that went on to be a Panasonic KXT G6811. The handset for that was a bit damage so i replaced it with the tgc a20 works perfectly nothing only uh it's only got 15 ringtones but that's not anything so <coughs> it's going to be a q a rod i've decided not really like an interview but well it will be an interview slash q l q a so you can ask me questions too if you want sure but i believe this is your interview so you can also ask me you can ask yeah, also cool. questions from me I'm, I I'm know, yeah, we'll take it in turns and stuff if it like i mean like that so rob you know the answer to this but let's just tell everyone what is our most common phone like what's the phone we've both got but just has a different model number oh uh, you mean the common phone that we have together but with a different model number yeah that one yeah, uh, for me, it's Panasonic XTG3721, and for you, I believe it's the... It's, it's Panasonic XTG6621. Uh, They're the same phones, same answering system, same voice, a British voice on an Iran phone. That's pretty good. Um, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Um, so... Yeah, so both, um, they're both the, mainly the same. They're some really good phones packed with lots of features. I've got some other phones that are quite basic, but as well quite good. Like BT's basic range, I think, is a lot better than their um, newer range, I think. Like, out, like my everyday phone, that's not the newest phone in my collection, but it's second to newest. And this uh, this is a good bit of kit, this is. Um for saying it's new and one of BT's new things, it's a good bit of kit. Um, so yeah, I'll ask you another question, Rod. What is your favorite telephone in your collection? Oh, uh, I actually have two favorite telephones. Is that fine if I That's name both of them? That's fine, you can say it. Yeah. So my first one is basically the Panasonic KXTG 3723 because it has two additional handsets which I bought and uh, the next one is the Panasonic KXTC 1723BXB. That phone I had a lot of memories with it when I was a kid, it was for our, one of our relatives and then when my father went back to our country Iran for a trip. I told him to get me some two line phones and he found me that phone which I was so happy about it and I told him to get it. Ah uh, that's really it's really nice that you're able to get phones from other countries and then hook them up in Canada. That's like a that's that's actually quite like nice because I've heard they have some good phones in Iran. Like I, well, I think we've got. I actually think in the UK we've actually got a v, some VTEC phones. But same, you know. same in Iran. We uh, now now they are also bringing some VTEC phones in Iran uh, and some Unidem phones. Interestingly enough, from the time that I uh, moved out from my country. Uh, there were no VTEC or uh, Unidem phones, but now I can see that we have the true models or TRU 
or x models, these stuff. And I'm so proud that we are all having all great phones. But unfortunately, the prices, the prices of those phones are outrageous. Uh, but if we convert the cash, you can see that it's basically like around $200, which is the normal price. But in Iran, it's like uh, two-thirds of your salary, which it's kind of like, it's a lot of money there for that unit and extract, you know? Yeah. Um, so my favorite frames in my collection, definitely the TG66 to, to it, well, mine's a 2-2 two two because I've got two handsets. I did have three, but I gave one to me now because she had, for the her 6611 system, she had two handsets and she takes what's one sometimes upstairs to bed with her. So, so I just thought, so she doesn't have to keep, you know, having one upstairs then forgetting to put it on the charger. Because I received these from her next door neighbour who got a VoIP system put in. Because in the UK, VoIP systems are getting very common now for homes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm also... I I don't have a VoIP system like that. But, yeah, my line is a VoIP. And I do have a VoIP gateway for that, and I'm also getting a VoIP phone. If you see my profile picture, that's yeah, the VoIP. Uh, yeah, that's the VoIP phone that uh, I got, and it will come like in July 18th. And then I got the gateway for it, which uh, the time that I got a gateway, I'm actually so happy with it because finally I'm able to have a private caller caller ID shown up on my phones, and also if I have a voicemail from my from uh, from my line, my phones will show it finally. So it's so better than Magic Jack. It's like a home phone, but VoIP, and it's amazing. Really I've amazing. I've got to do a quick. I've got to do a quick impression of the you know the Panasonic talking caller ID. Yeah. I'm quite good at doing the impression for for it. You know the Bluetooth models. This is what happens when you receive a private caller call call from yeah. private caller. Yeah, it basically the voice changes uh, because I think it's a uh, pre-recorded voice there. Yeah, it, basically it, every phone from Panasonic that has talking color ID does that, and the voice changes. Let me I'll demonstrate it for you if you if you are comfortable. Is that fine? Uh, yeah, but also, well, you know the Cisco phone you're getting? I'm quite good at doing the impressions of the Cisco default ringtone. Oh, yeah, sure. I would like to see it. <coughs> Wait, it's, it's exactly the same. I think it's similar, isn't it? I'm not too keen on VoIP systems because you can't have met, you know, like any phones you want unless you have like some special adapter and you have to like do some like work on them on computers. I'd rather just get a PBX. Uh, I'm getting one soon and I'm getting one. I'm getting a yours is a 208, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, mine's a one zero. Mine's a one zero eight. Also, if you don't mind me asking, what's um in Iran? Because I know in America and Canada, is the voltage one hundred and ten volts? Uh, pardon. In um um in in Canada, is the voltage one hundred and ten? Oh yeah, uh, it's one hundred and ten. Back in Iran, it was like two twenty, and yeah, uh, basically. Yeah. That's what we are in the UK. We're to we're around two twenty. So um, I think uh, Iran phones would work with Iran phones would work with me quite simply. All I'd need is an adapter because um, our sockets in the UK are two forty volts, I think, or two thirty or something. Which, if I plugged a two twenty thing into it, I don't think it would have an impact. Whereas if I plugged a hundred and ten into it, it would probably blow the fling the blow the thing up actually a good thing about panasonics is that uh you can plug them into any voltage even the phones from the us you can just plug them into any voltage it's a good no thing way. About panasonics. are you actually kidding me no i'm not kidding you wow i might have to get an, uh, i might get the i know one of the phone we've both got have you got a TG, a Panasonic KX TG H260? Yes. Yeah, I've got one too. 
Uh, but mine doesn't have talking caller ID for some reason. Yeah, mine, uh, I basically, you know that, my I bought mine, it was a gift from one of our relatives, and they bought it from Iran. And this came straight from the US, and basically the, the adapter is one of those US plugs, but it works in Iran, interestingly enough. How many ringtones does that have? I'm just wondering if it's got more than the UK version. Sure, let me play it for you. So, uh, it has these ringtones, it has... Uh, Wait, let me count. It has 15 melodies and 5 tones. In total, 20. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, guess what? In the, in the UK, we've got better ringtones. We haven't... In the UK for that phone, you know the old... Like, the new old page... paging tone. Yeah, the old yeah, paging the tone. Page... You, have, you have this paging tone, right? Let me show you on my 3721. You have this paging tone, right? The... Oh, wait, I've got... Yeah, I've got that's mine. Yeah, um, that's what I have on my two six. That's what I have on my two sixty. You've got, you've got the new one that sounds. You've got the new one that sounds like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I prefer the old one. I do, but I think that one, the the newer one, sounds a lit a, a tiny, not a lot. But a tiny bit similar to the first ringtone on the three seven two one, the belly one, the bell. The, the instruments, one. the instruments are the same, but the notes are not. Yeah, no, uh, they're similar though, like like just, like a little tiny tiny bit similar, not a lot, but just like, <coughs> just like, yeah, that was my. Do you, ha by chance, have a Panasonic KX TGC two two zero? TGC two two zero. Yes, I do. It's in our home. I'm using it as our home phone main line. Yeah. Oh, uh, just because I think they're really for the price because they're quite a budget phone. They are proper good phones. I've got three. I've got. I've got a, a base for it and two handsets, and I've also got a TG TG. A six eight two handset too, uh, connected to it. Oh yeah, interesting. Uh, this is my TGC two twenty. I have it here in case I want to do any test calls. And uh, in uh, in the US and Canada, I believe they have backlit keypads on them, because from the videos that I've seen from you, yours didn't have any backlight, so the keypads were just black. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mine doesn't have any backlit keys. My my other handset, the the one, the other one I was telling you about has backlit keys. I'll see if That's I. I'm. I'll, do you know what? I'm gonna fish it out quickly. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it quickly. I'm gonna see if I can quickly sneak in and find it. I just need to. Right. That's a new one. I might have to. I'm just gonna bring me back of phones up to the top and. If, if I have one, if I have it, it probably won't have any batteries, but I'll check. I've got some TG324s at the minute. Oh. Where has he gone? Hold on. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. Where's, I'm uh, here. Where's... I'm here. Where's he been? Uh, I think I had some internet problems. It just oh. got disconnected, and I'm back. Okay. Right, I found the bait. I found the charger. I just need to find. I swear, do you know what annoys me with Panasonic though sometimes or any phone when you put batteries in them and you turn them on and you put them in the cradle and they say insert battery. That annoys me. Oh yeah. Is that it? Nope, that's my Philips. Do you have any Philips phones? Ah uh, yes, I do have a CD uh six four five. I've got a CD one seven five. It's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of Philips phones, but they're all right. Like mine didn't come in that good condition. If but if I got a one in good condition, it'd probably be better. But um, mine didn't come in the best condition. I like the Melody one from mine though. It sounds like some like a nostalgia old british ringtone interesting 
<laughs> have you ever heard from the? Have you ever? I have a question. I have. I have a question. Have you ever uh, heard uh, the clear sounds A seven hundred phone in the UK? Because I believe that's a European phone. The clear sounds A seven hundred. Clear sounds A seven hundred. Uh, Gigaset. Uh, no, it's a clear sounds. The clear sounds. I don't think I know what that is. Sorry. Let me let me share my screen for you so uh, you can see. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, here. Let's see. So as you can see, basically this is the A seven hundred clear sounds. No, uh, no, I've never had any. Do you want to know a phone that looks similar to that, though, which I've seen somewhere before? Type into oh, yeah, Google. Sure. Oh, type into Google BT Graphite. It looks similar, but it's got a round base. Yeah, that's going to that's be. Oh, yeah. They look a tiny bit same. similar. I've not seen a BT graphite. You know that there. some BT phone ringers are similar with this phone, right? Um, some BT ringers no, are similar I with the clear sounds. The, the base ringtone on that one sounds similar to the Philips CD175 that I have, the handset ringers. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is one of the ringers on the clear sounds A700, which I heard before on one of your BT phones. They play it for you. It basically has the five uh, simple tones. What video was that on? What phone? Uh, clear Sounds A700. Oh, that's a clear sound. Yeah, some of them do sound... Wait, play them again and I'll see if I recognise any. Sure. Yeah, I, I think I've heard them uh, on your BD, uh, BT... Uh, They'll be on the console. Yeah, no, console. Wait, play it again and then I'll tell you if I recognise them. Sure. Yeah, I recognise that one. I recognise that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, they're, they're the same now. See, I've got my BT card. And I get my consumer out. Right. Where's the handset for it? That's the question. Oh, oh, what have I? Oh, my TGJ switch on. Um, where would I be if I was a BT consumer? Uh, it'll be at the bottom somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'll turn it on and see if it's got any battery. All right. No, I'm find the power supply to that. Right, I've got one phone ready. <clears throat> Where's the... Uh, I need to find the plug for it. Right, there's the plug. Sorry, all my cables are tangled. Interest in fire alarms, then, just while we're at it, Rod. Uh, fire alarms, uh, I'm not really interested in them like I'm interested in telephones, but I do like them. They are also interesting. The way they work and the setups they have. I really like the Roshni fire alarm. Yeah, because, Roshni. Yeah, the sound of it, it reminds me of uh, a car alarm system. Which I really like, like the sound of that. It's, it's I've really got a, I haven't got a Roshni itself, but I've got like a flashing Roshni. It's got the same tones and everything. It's called a, a, a Celestia. Interesting. 
It's the Xenon version. I've got the LED version, but the Xenon version is called a Flash Name. That's really interesting. I believe they also use Rushney and uh, My Country Iran too. Because, yeah, they will. Uh, they will. Yeah, they probably will do because it's in most places. In America, they've got what's called a Spectra alert, haven't they? Yeah, they do have one of these Spectrum and Honey. I don't like this. I'm not trying to be. I'm not that. Like, this isn't like. A, I just don't like the sound of like the American fire alarms. Same. It's it's too loud, too loud. Yeah, and like, like it's we get all different tones, but in America, the only tone I've the only tone I've really heard is like a be be be. Yeah, and it it sounds like basically hell. Did it's you know awesome. what? Did you know what Russian's got multiple tones? Oh really? Yeah, it's oh, got. Yeah, I I've music. heard before. Yeah, I did. A zip switch on it, and you just flip that with a screwdriver, and you can get all different sounds from it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, interesting. Maybe I should buy a Rushney later from eBay. Yeah, you should get one off eBay. They're quite cheap, I think, because it, they're good sounders, but they're not. They're not the common. They're not really that common. I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Yeah. Um. I'll turn on my, uh, I'm just going to get my face out because I don't really want my face showing. All right. that, that's not going to show my, oh, right, it's showing no, it for it's a not. No, it well, just, anyway. it's just showing your hair, don't worry. All right. So, yeah. this is, oh, sorry, I've touched something on there. So, I'm going to put this on here and hopefully that should come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. It, and it, it says track phone line, so hopefully. Can you see how this one's got backlit keys? Uh, yes. So I can... Oh, wait, where's the intercom button on this? Oh, it's here. So if I get this handset, it'll page that. Oh, yeah, they are registered together. Yeah, yeah basically, they, they are using the decked frequency, so they can be paired to each other really easily, you know. I've never seen the words, like, I've never seen a Dex model on the thing. This is my... Yeah, in, in I'm Iran, gonna put... we don't have decked stuff. We just, we, they don't announce it. Yeah, like, most phones say, like, Dex 6 on them. Yeah, wait. Yeah. You were uh, you were worried about your voice. I uh, you were worried about your face. I think your face is showing. Oh no, no, I'm not worried. I just don't oh, yeah, worry. It's showing. Yeah, it's so, showing now. Oh yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's fine. I'll show it. It's fine. It's not like it's like it's already on my channel anyway. My face is only on a few videos, but this is the Concero. Yeah. So what this does, it doesn't say like no battery. Has that got batteries in it? Yeah, it has. I'll just. Oh, there we go. It's just searching for a base. There we go. I'll show you the ringer. To... Oh, as soon as I lift it off the base, it dies. Uh, okay, hold on. Can you give me a few minutes? Okay, okay, that's fine. Sorry. No um, Look at so. Oh, look at why is it doing that? Oh, okay. Probably, the, probably the battery is just uh spoiled. It's not spoiled. It's it's because it's. I've only just turned it on. Right. Uh, These are the ringtones. But the good thing is that you can work with it on charger. Yeah, they're the same, aren't they? Yeah. These are the bass ringtones, though. The bass ringtones on this are the same as the ones on the everyday phone. They're a bit loud, so I'm not going to play them. I'll be back in a sec.
Wait, uh. Are you here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Stupid. One of my videos just came off. Oh, nice. Uh, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, I don't like the displays on like these kind of phones because they can. There's a type of displays that can go really fast. Uh, you know that they are basically the seven segment pixels, right? Yeah, they're not really well, that. Well, they are not seven segments. Seven segments are the normal ones, which show okay. only numbers or digits. These ones, uh, let me let me count them in my you mind. Are. So, uh, yeah, they have like twelve pixels, twelve segments, something like that. Yeah, seven segments is usually uh, this type of display, which uh, just shows an eight or numbers. Yeah, normal numbers, not yeah. letters. You call that a seven segment, and the ones that uh, show you words without any like digital stuff going on there, they are basically three line dotted. And the ones that cover your horse screen, no, they are no, called no. the dot matrix display. Oh, thank you for that information. So before we end this, I'd like to, uh, if it's like. Before we have to go, I, I was, I'm going to um, carry on with the Q&A. So, um, yeah. so, oh, I've got water on this Panasonic and I don't even know where it's come from. Um, so I'll be putting some things away in a second. Not all of them, but... Your PABX is a two zero eight, isn't it? Uh yes. Yeah, I'm. I've got the ones. I'm getting the one zero eight. Hopefully, it's got That's one great. main line. It's got one main line, and I'm not getting the one with the two corded phones because it's way too much money. Oh, I so, I think you can just uh, use it with your own phones. Yeah, I can. I can. And then I'm going to use some testing equipment as well. Like I'm going to get. I'm going to use the Concero as a testing answering machine. And then I'm going to have a corded phone to make the calls from. Great. So. Oh, you you remind me. Uh, you you reminded me of my old setup back in my old house. Basically, I had uh, if all of my phones were plugged into the PABX. So whenever I wanted to do a testing uh, or review a phone, I will uh, just plug it to the 8th extension and test it with the 8th and 7th extension. If, if you see yeah. my old videos, you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, what I'll have to do as well is I'll have to get some line splitters. So for the first yeah. few days of using it, I'm going to get used to it by plugging two phones in and ringing each other. And then after that, that's when I'll, you know, buy some line splitters and then have all the phones ring together. Great. Then what I'm going to do is, when they're all ringing together, in between when I switch off the clips to ring them again, what I'm going to do is, you know how Jordan used sometimes when he rings up his phones, he says one, it says one thing and then he rings it with another number and it says another thing. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is when I've cut it off, I'm going to plug the extension into another one and make the talking caller ID say something else. So I'm thinking like for it to say something like call from, wait, what, 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 what do you think will be a good name from the, what, what, what do you think a good name would be? A rotted cheese. Oh yeah, I've got one. Call from a cheese sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, call, call from a waddle. I've got one call from a waddling dog. Or call from, call from a famous guy. Yeah, that would be good. I'll have numerous ones because I'll save different extensions to their phone book and just plug them into another one each time. Yeah. So. Like, the phones won't be a different one. The phone that I'll ring the phones from will be different. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, I know you have, like, one line uh, only for testing and stuff, right? Yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll use the testing equipment to ring up all the phones. Great. I need a drink of water. My throat's going again. All right. It's fine. So... Was your PABX easy to set up? That's a question from me. Actually, to be honest, yes, it was easy to set up. But the manual was one of these poorly Chinese uh, translation manuals, which they just had some problems translating the manual because uh, it, 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 it had a lot of problems. But basically, I just set it up mine fine. So the one I'm getting is going to be 220 volts, hopefully. Hopefully. I think uh, the the PABX can handle both of the voltages. I'm not going to get the one from Amazon. I'm not going to get the Excel cell one. I'm going to get one similar. Do you know that they are basically the same, right? Yeah, yeah. Even, oh, yeah, even I though... know that. It's because I'll get this one cheaper and I'd rather get one that has, you know, the correct voltage so I don't have to get yeah. a transformer. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't think you need a transformer for that because usually these are uh, produced in China and China uses 220 European plugs, right? Yeah, I know. A lot of... Yeah. I know you say that a lot of your... Well, we run phones were manufactured in the UK, but a lot of the UK phones we have are manufactured in China. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Wait, someone is calling on main line just in the middle of my video. Oh, I think it's a, it's a scammer. Should I answer it? Oh, yeah, and then put it on the speaker so I can talk to him, and then I'll like you mess him about. Yeah, it's, it's a 604220. Yeah, Let me ask my father. Let me ask my answer father. Him. Oh. So we're just going to take a quick break because um, Rod's got a phone call, so we'll just take a quick break for a sec. Wait a Hold second, Rod, do you have my voice here? Ah. Uh, Did uh, I yeah. forget to mute yeah, my sorry. microphone? Did I yeah, sorry. To... That's fine. Is everything okay with the phone? Oh, yeah. Did I forget to mute my microphone while talking to my father? Uh, I think you did, yes. Okay. Yeah, if anyone heard it, I was speaking Persian. To my Persian friends, hello, I was no, speaking you, Persian I with my father. Did, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the guy hung up. Let me just try calling him back. I it. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. Uh... Hmm. They should have left the line. Those uh, those filthy in scammers. In the UK, that noise. In the UK, that noise means engaged. Like they're on a call. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe they are on a call. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe they are trying to scam someone else out of their cash. I hate telephone scams. We get them here in the UK. I actually love telephone scammers, you know why? Yeah, same, I do. I don't get them on my mobile because I've been, I was having some trouble with, I kept getting no caller ID calls because the kids pranking each other from school, yeah. getting each other's numbers and then. So I, I, I turned on silence unknown callers. So, but whenever they come on the house phone, that's when I do it. Um, so yeah. on my, on my, on your PABX, was it a simple plug and play thing? Yeah, it's a plug and play thing. Oh, that's good. So I can just plug it in, connect the phone, and it'll work. Yeah. Oh, that that that's good. 
But also, the reason that I love scammers is that, uh, in addition to my previous sentence, I forgot to add, is that basically when I talk to scammers, I want to waste their time, right? And when I waste their time, you know what happens? They don't have time to scam someone else. So the more that I waste their time, the more that I'm saving someone. Yeah, that's a good thing. But at the same time, they can just hang up, can't they? Yeah, but you sometimes need to act dumb and act smart, you know? You need to have the both going yeah. on there. Yeah. Yeah, so like they once can... they said, <laughs> do you yeah. know what? I didn't say this, but, like, I should have said, you know, one said, um, I heard you had an accident a few years ago. Do you remember, do you remember it? I should have said, um, no, I got brain damage <laughs> because, like, you know, that would have really got them. Um, Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't mean that in, like, and I, I wasn't meaning that in, like, a rude way to anyone. I'm just saying, like, that'll prob that'll proper get them. Sorry for any, if anyone that is offended. I didn't actually mean it in a, an offensive way. No worries. I think people know that you didn't mean to be offensive yeah. to anyone. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. And as well, I, I'm actually autistic, so... Oh, yeah, uh, would you like to tell people about it? Um, well, Did, not right like now, it's a bit of a, yeah. it's not right now because it's a bit of a long story, but yeah. um, I have to say, this live stream's going well, but I might have to end it in a minute, so if you've got any questions, you might be, you might be good to ask them now, if that's okay. Sure, sure. Any questions that I got from you? Okay, um... Uh, my first question is that how does your family react to you having phones? Mine just reacts, like, mine just reacts uh, angry. Oh, God. Yeah. Right, I, I set it up all right. my phones in my right. room. My mum, when she finds out, um, when she want, think, thought I was buying, when she found out that I wanted a PABX system, you're going to waste all your money on a silly phone system that you're only going to play with that might be good for officers. And I'm just like, yeah, but how else am I meant to like use talking caller ID, use all my bases and stuff? It, it it's still annoying. And then when she's in my room, be like, I'm tripping up on all these cables. You better tidy these up. Me being like, no, it's my phone set up. I'm waiting for like. So yeah, they, it just drives you mad a bit. Yeah. So it's yeah, actually, think... yeah. Uh, last night I was talking about this. Uh with the random collector and with the landline corner about this. Some people basically don't understand our interests and it might be unusual for them because it's not their interests. But I have a message for those guys if they are watching this stream is that this is us, this is how we are and we cannot change it because it's our interest and hobby. And it will probably be in ourselves for a long time, right? Yeah. Maybe maybe at some point when we uh got uh yeah yeah we'll have a change of things sometimes like that's what my mum's worried about is that I spend all my money on it and then just you know leave it for something else but I, I'd always come back to it in the end. You know how many years I have been interested in landline telephones? <sighs> Probably your whole life. Yeah, my whole life. From exactly. the time that I from the time that I started re remembering things i was interested in landline telephones and still am to this day i also really love uh fans fans i really love fans too if yeah, i could get I some know. here so my interests are telephones street lighting traffic lighting and especially um fire alarms and telephones and stuff like that I really like the pedestrian signals too. Yeah, I, same uh, like Yeah, don't don't tell this to anyone, guys. But uh, I uh, some of the newer Polara pedestrian signals, which they are in the U.S. and Canada, uh, the newer ones work with Bluetooth. So there was uh one in one of the intersections, which they didn't uh, reset the password or change the password. So I had access to one of them and I uh, set it up for them. I added countdown on it and I made the sound louder so everyone can hear it. 
blind people because you know that the main reason for those are the more pedestrian signals. Yeah, are no, from, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, from, In the UK, we also have a little cone at the bottom that spins around as well as the beeper. If some crossings have a beeper, every crossing will have that cone on the bottom. And in the UK, our traffic lights operate from something called a logic cabinet. Oh, yeah, same with you. But I think, in my opinion, the sequence of traffic lights in the UK is better than the US because you get, like... Because in the US it changes straight to green, whereas in the UK you get like the red and amber phase first, which means you can get ready, put your car into gear, ready to, um, you know, ready oh, yeah. to get ready for the green light, whereas it's instant in the USA. So I prefer the sequence in the UK. Yeah, the sequence makes it better for you because you can get ready to, like, uh, put your car in the gear as you mentioned. Sorry, that was my BT phone. Noise. So they get in a charged, minute, you know. Yeah, it's just it's because it's on a bumpy surface. I'll put it down. Hi. So, um, soon I'm gonna have to put the street cut the stream off, but um, and I'll probably post it tomorrow. Um, is this Hi. live on your channel right now, Rod? Uh, it's not. It's being recorded, but you can download the file uh on the recording. Yeah, oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm yeah. just checking your channel to make sure this is. Oh, I can also true. upload this on my channel too. Uh, oh yeah, don't. All oh, right, right. I need to notify you. Uh, I need to put a notification. It's because um. Uh, I'm just what what time's your live stream? Uh, your anniversary one. Um, my live stream, my anniversary. What's on it? Yeah, what time? What time will it be? Oh, uh, I think I've sent you the live stream plan. So it will be starting uh, ten thirty a.m. The time might change, uh, but. Probably 10.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And you can read this text. It's the plans that we are going to do on the live stream. Uh, please don't announce it to everyone because these are sacred. Uh, but I can announce yeah, one of them. Yeah, so we are gonna, I won't announce yeah. them. Yeah. But we can say this, but that we are going to host a game in our live stream if anyone likes to also oh see that's a great game i've just i've just read it i'm not going to say what it is but i've just read it and it seems like a great game i'm really going to enjoy playing it great well i'm happy that uh all of you like this i'm definitely i'm gonna see if i can get up at two, half two in the morning so i can just so i can i'll keep my phone up so what date is it um a monday it's July 24th. I don't know which day is... Let me ask no, Alexa. Hey, Alexa. I'll be, on I'll be on the holiday. I'll be on the holidays anyway. So what I'll be day the is July 24th? Uh, Monday. 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 Yeah, I'm I'm going yeah. into summer break next week. Oh yeah, so you guys might have a longer holiday than us, right? Yeah how is your how long's your holidays? We start back. Uh, we ours is two months. We start back on September. Two months. Yours is eight weeks, and no, ours is six weeks. Oh, so it's like a month and a half. Yeah, but I, I know you don't get many, like, holidays in the in Canada and USA. We get a lot at our, uh, in the UK. Oh, actually, in Canada, we get a lot. We get a lot. We get spring break. We get Christmas break. And also some days, like, Victoria, Dre uh, Victoria Day or Canada Day or these stuff. These stuff also count as, like, holidays. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have long weekends. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, we get what what we call them kind of things in the UK is a bank holiday or something like that. Yeah, basically in Iran, let me find the translation for that. Uh, we say uh, like, yeah. Let me think. All right, let you me use the translator. It. You don't have yeah. to if like, it's going to cause trouble and stuff, but... Oh, it's not. Uh, let me search it. Okay. I'll have to go in a sec, though, so... All right. Yeah, I'm it's... it's I'm public just... holidays. Yeah, public holidays. Public we call holidays. it public holidays. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've got public holidays, too. <laughs> so... Um... Yeah, so should I finish off with an outro? Sure, sure. So thank you guys so much for watching another Joey Plays Mouse video. I'll hopefully get this posted tomorrow. Um, so, yep, yeah, and thank you, Rod, for joining us. It's been really thank nice. Thank you for having, having me. We same, will definitely, same. It was, it was an we'll honour to meet you. We'll definitely try and do something like this again because it's been really great having you on. Um, but... Um, yeah, and thank you for introducing me to StreamYard. At some point, I will make an account, but for now, this has been really great. So, th th thank you very, thank you very much for introducing me to this. So, I'm not sure how we will do it now, but if you want to finish off with an outro, Rod. Sure. <laughs> I thank everyone for watching this live stream. Please also consider subscribing and supporting Joey. Uh, I know that he has been working hard to create contents to entertain us. So please support him and show all the support that you can, all the love and support that you can towards this channel. And also, I thank you all for watching this interview, and I hope you all have an amazing day. I will sign off, and thank you for watching. Okay. Have a nice and day, And before Joe. you go, Rod, I just want to say thank you very much for that outro. Go subscribe to Rod too. He works really well, providing us great content with his PABX system. All of his great friends from all around different countries. So you should go sh show him some support too and go subscribe to his channel. I'll pin a link in the description. Um, thank you. But, yeah, thank, so thank you so much for having us on. So see you guys. Bye. See you all. Goodbye. See you. Bye.